Hi JP, um, I know you weren't able to record videos um, for a while, hopefully not for too long, but um, uh, I realized that I hadn't put, made a comment to your Good Karma video, and I wanted to encourage you, hopefully you're still on that same frame of mind, even in your absence, but um, I wanted to encourage you to um, to formulate your own beliefs basically based on what you feel is right what kind of what clicks with you um, it doesn't have to necessarily be from one um, one religion or another religion just kind of just see what suits you you know what's what feels right um, personally I believe that um, there's a lot of things that I can't necessarily take credit for that has happened in my life, um, things that have come full circle um, and that I can't take credit for basically. Um, one thing, I guess it started when I I had a cousin who was um, born with his, the umbilical cord wrapped around his neck and he lived um, basically kind of like a vegetable. He couldn't see, couldn't talk, couldn't even feed himself, couldn't swallow. He was fed through a tube in his stomach and he died when he was five and I was about either seven or nine I think when he died. And some people would say that oh you know what, what kind of a god would do this to, to somebody and what kind of a you know if he was a loving god then you know he's how could he do something punish somebody so much and um, basically I think that my cousin chose that life because of the powerful spirit that he was and he taught everybody around him as a result of it that that you can be forgiving because it turned out that it it was because of negligence in the doctor who had delivered him I found this out way later um, I thought it was an accident and my aunt showed even some, you know more credit to her that um, I found out later that you know, she didn't say a word. I, uh, she didn't blame him, the doctor. She didn't tell any of us um, or make a scene out of it. But she was forgiving in her in her own way, you know. And um, and I think that he he was basically like an angel. He came down to teach a lot of people a lot of things, and to be just a blessing, you know. Even f even for what he had to go through, you know, whether he knew it what was going on or not. And um, when he was buried, his uh, his horoscope said um, he was buried with his uh, teddy bear and his blanket and his casket. And his, his horoscope that day said that you're going on a long journey today and you'd be wise to lock your valuables in your trunk. And that's kind of what got my attention as far as horoscopes and stuff and astrology and I started, you know, just keeping my eyes open, you know, and and taking what I found to be true and what, you know, settled with me, and I um I ended up finding out like in 2000 I started doing astrology um, reports and stuff that have to do with your date and time that you were born and where you were born, and I was finding more and more that they they were written better than I could have written for myself. And all I did was type in some information in a computer, you know, and that kind of opened a whole other a whole other spectrum of, of what what I know and what I thought I knew and what I believed and you know, it's there's a whole other other world, I guess. Um, as far as who's responsible for what you know, destiny and, and whatnot, but I think there's a reason for a lot of things that, that we, the people come to say is just fate or it's just chance. And I think that, that we're here for a reason. And I think that you understand that. And I just wanted to encourage you to keep the dialogue open with people that are like minded as you. And I had no idea that YouTube could provide such a such a platform for such such dialogue and such um, connections with people that are that are providing me with um, 
abilities and and growth basically I think some people aren't going to understand it some people are going to talk shit but I think that the people that do believe and that are worth talking to are people that you can learn from and and will encourage you to grow so um, hopefully you'll keep talking and I'll be more than happy to discuss whatever you want to talk about if um, you get a chance. Okay? Thanks. Catch you later.